Hi guys, welcome to all. And in this tutorial, we are going to see how to create NumPy arrays and with the different dimensions. Okay. Now before that, we are using Jupyter platform to run all these statements. Yeah. Now let's first import NumPy library. Okay. Now for that, we are using import keyword for this thing. Okay. Now let's execute this statement. Yeah. Now the NumPy packages uh, imported to over Jupyter notebook. Now let's first create the scalar array. So before that you want to know about what is scalar. Scalar means which whenever it is present only one value we call that as scalar. Yeah. So let's create a scalar array by using np.array and we get stored that into s variable. Okay. Now let's print it. Yeah. Let's execute it. Yeah. You can see that the s is uh, 5 is in the s. Okay. Now let's check the d type or means the data type of s. Yeah. You can see that it is of in 32. Okay. Now let's check the dimension of s. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is showing zero. Means it is like a zero dimension because it is present only one variable. Right? So we call it a scalar one. So let's go to check about creating one dimensional array, two dimensional array, and three dimensional array. Okay. Yeah. So now we are going to use np dot array same like previous, and we are going to store that all these uh, list in a. Yeah. Let's execute this. Okay. You can see that it is printing right one two three four. Now let's check the data type of a. Yeah, it is showing in thirty two, which means all the elements that are present in a are numerical and that are integer type one. Okay. Now let's check the dimension of that is present in a. Yeah, you can see that it is printing one means one dimension array. Yeah, you you can you have understand it right? Yeah. Now let's go and check how to do or create the two dimension array. Yeah. For this, you are using like a matrix type, matrix like format, and we are storing that into a B. Okay. Now we are here also we are using NB dot array function. Okay. Yeah, you can see right the output. Yeah. Let's see how how like uh, the dimension present in the B. Yeah, it is showing two dimension exactly what we are expecting. Okay. Two dimensional means it's con it's consist of list within list. You get clear understanding of how to create two dimension right. Now let's see finally how to create the three dimensional array, and we are using matrix within list. Okay, now we are storing the whole this format into C variable, and we are using exactly like a bool like np dot array. Now let's print this. Yeah, you can see right the output is like uh, uh, matrices, different matrices present within a list. Okay, now let's print the dimension finally of C also. Yeah, you can see exactly three. Okay, uh, like three dimensional. So, and um, one additional tip to you, all you guys, like we are using uh, np dot ending to check the dimensions, right? We can directly use the variable name and uh, give like ending to check the data types, like to check the dimension of each of the uh, arrays. Yeah, it is exactly giving the same output as the book. Okay, the main functions here are like uh, creating an array and checking the dimension is very very important. So with this, we have understand like how to create numpy arrays and check the dimension. Okay, thank you.